What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to PC Wars episode 13 where you submit your custom PC to get featured on the channel. So if you have a badass rig and want to get featured on TechSource, make sure to watch the video linked below. Without wasting any more time, let the PC Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always you guys can find the full specs to their PCs linked below, but here are your 5 contestants for this week. We have Dijon, Dennis, Mike, Spencer and Tim. Let's go and start the show. So starting off strong we have the mother of all mods. Dijan's nature build called Ivy. I shit you not, this is an actual PC with real leaves in it. So it's running on a 4690K, a Gigabyte GTX 970, and probably even some fossil fuel. I actually don't think there's a single part in this build that's not modded. From the fans, to the radiators, ram sticks, motherboard, and even the reservoir has a nature theme. I don't know about you guys, but this PC definitely gave me some wood. A few of the modifications I like are the green LEDs that show through the Evixa RAM sticks, the amazing front panel that shows off the reservoir, and finally the spray painted and camouflaged motherboard that pretty much looks hidden. I'm honestly stumped by the amazing attention to detail. Honestly, if you ask me, I think that Ivy would be a great contender for the best PC of 2016. It doesn't even stop there, apparently his gaming gear is also modded in some of nature's goodness. Keyboard, mouse pad, headphone, and even the headphone stand. I mean I'm speechless, I don't know what else to say other than thank you for sharing this amazing PC with us, but I'll leave it to you guys to judge the PC. Alright, so leaving Wonderland, we have Dennis and his PC called Sunrise. A black and red water-cooled beast running a 6600K overclocked to 4.5GHz and an AMD R9 Fury X. You know, I'll never get tired of seeing water-cooled builds inside tiny ITX cases. Major props for pulling this off, Dennis. The Evixa RAM makes its second appearance in this episode with a total of 16 gigs for Sunrise and an ASUS Z170i Pro Gaming motherboard. Cable management is also spot on, but overall a very solid ITX water-cooled build with no complaints. Thank you, Dennis, for entering. At number 3, we have Mike with dual 980Ti's, a 6700K and an H100i GTX cooler packed inside the Zalman H1 case. This is easily one of the best non-modded PCs I've seen on PC Wars. There's no special SLI bridge or custom sleeves, just pure power with exceptional cable management. Job well done Mike and thank you for entering. Keeping the train going, we have Spencer with Great Big Wombo, <laughs> plus one on that name. Now even though it's a black and red build, it's a hell of a gorgeous one at that. Really love the symbol and elegant look of this, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on and I like that. The great big Wombo is rocking a 6600K and a single GTX 980 Ti with an EKWB Titan X backplate. That thing looks dope. Judging by the background and all of that snow, was a water cooled build necessary where you live? I also want to take this time and thank Spencer for taking his PC outside to get these awesome shots. Not much else to say, a very beautiful build, thank you Spencer for entering. Finishing off the episode strong, we have Tim and Red Power, which is a red and black build. And yes, there is a difference between black and red and red and black. The dominant color is always first. In Tim's case, this is a red and black build, whereas mine is a black and red build. So we have a 5930K overclocked to 4.4 and two Titan X's in SLI with 64GB of RAM. Talk about overkill. Excellent work with cable management and I'll give you a point for going with the sleeved cables, but I'm not so sure about the case you are using since you didn't list that in the notes. If any of you guys can guess what case he is using, I will give you some brownie points. To be honest, I'm not a fan of the tubing, but overall Red Power is one clean looking PC that kicks ass. Thank you Tim for entering. But that will do it for this episode of PC Wars. As always, drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best custom PC and a winner will move on to the best PC of 2016. I'll announce the winners on the 15th on my Twitter or Instagram accounts, so make sure you guys are following me there. It's basically it, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you enjoy PC Wars, leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.